the staff, the staff in six day, all to step out or stand up and let you have a chance to thank them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And her initials are. Kathy <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> and I want to thank you. Every time I'm with you, I'm more and more inspired. Um, and this year, it was especially good to be with you when you got here, and uh, now to be with you when you go. And a little bit in between, not nearly enough. But I want to tell you what you destroyed for me. <laughs> <laughs> Other than my hair. <laughs> That exists in the world right now. One, that your generation are just lazy. <laughs> they can't lead. They're not interested in God. I had one letter that actually said that you were ignorant. <laughs> you know, Who's really ignorant? <laughs> So you absolutely destroyed that myth. You destroyed another one, and that is that miracles no longer happen in the world. Uh, together, this week you destroyed both of those. Because you are a miracle. Now, there was a guy that probably some of you don't know, but some of these adults back there will remember this person named Tip O'Neill. He was once Speaker of the House for a long time. And uh, kind of a very important politician. And uh, he lost his first election. And when he was talking to his aunt, after they would talk for a while, she opined as how she didn't vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was stunned. He was shocked. He said, well, Aunt Sue, I can't believe you didn't vote for me. Why didn't you? And she said, because you never ask. So I'm going to do a very direct thing. I'm going to ask you something. I'm going to ask you to lead this church. Lead the body of Christ. Not someday, but now. You can. I watched it happen here before my eyes. So I'm asking you to do it. For some of you, that will be ordination someday. And you'll wear a collar. But most of you won't. Some of you, and I'm sorry for you already, will be a bishop. <laughs> There's probably several of you in here that may do that. But that is not what you have to do to lead. And sermons do not always come from pulpits. Most often they don't. And I heard a lot of good ones here. So I'm asking you to lead this church. And when this church, here, or wherever you go, seems to not want your leadership, I want you to let me know. You can email me anytime. I'm the only one that reads my email. You can find me on Facebook. Do you Twitter? I'm going to Twitter within two weeks, so you can find me on Facebook. <laughs> And, and if I do it to you, tell Ned on me. But don't let the church tell you you can't leave. And don't ever say I didn't ask. <laughs> Blessings to you.